Hello everybody and welcome back to the CSHL and we're going to start off with a recap again here just so everyone knows who is represented by which team. So Crash Andrews is represented by the LA Royals. The Finn for the win will be represented by the Philadelphia Finns. We've got Newfie Bullet who is represented by the Newfoundland Tigers. And next up we have Arcade Regiment or Phil. Phil the Thrill is represented by the Toronto Tomahawks. Yours truly, that's me, represented by the Washington Whales. We've got Tactics HD, who will be represented by the Detroit Dragons. We've got X-Tech Gaming, who is represented by the Vancouver Lumberjacks. And last but certainly not least, we have Tugi, who is represented by the Boston Bulldogs. Now here's a look at the standings for the previous week. And without further ado, let's go ahead and hop in. To this week's matchups. The Bulldogs and the Royals faced off this week. The Bulldogs looking to even out at 3-3 three and three, where the Royals are looking to stay on top of the tournament or league, whatever you want to call it. Early on here, Landis Gog with a nice shot, but Merzlikens going to kick that aside. Both goalies came out of the gate pretty strong here. Off the draw, Spurgeon able to walk right in, but not able to score. Now the Boston team heading to the penalty kill. On the penalty kill, McCarr takes a shot that is blocked, but he finds Landis Cog down low. He's going to send it home and give the Royals a 1-0 lead here in the first. And right after that, Landis Cog again going to rip a wrist shot by the defender and just over the glove of Merzlikens, making it a 2-0 game for the Royals heading in to period number two. In period two, a nice walk-in attempt that will be saved by Merzlikens. Another great shot and another fantastic save. Back the other way. Line A with it. Takes a shot. Grubauer going to catch that one in the glove. Kobitar has a nice chance walking out. And another glove save from Grubauer. Voracek goes for a backhand. And that one will be kept out as well. We'll be heading into period number three. And the Royals still up by two. Early on here. A nice shot. Merzlikens going to keep that one out. A draw win by the Royals. Alexiak backs up. Takes a shot. And that will be blockered aside. Giordano going to rip one five hole. And that will put the Royals ahead by three. And that is where this game will end. Boston not able to crack Grubauer in this one. A shutout for him. And a solid 3-0 victory. To advance the Royals to 5-1. Here are your three stars for the game. Stellar performance from Grubauer. Oh, let's hop on board with the Finns and the Lumberjacks. Both teams currently sat at 3-2. And, and they're looking to gain some separation in this one in the standings. But only one team will be able to emerge victorious. A very offensive game as we are about to see here. But Yamamoto gets leveled early on there. And he comes back the other way, picks up his own rebound to put Vancouver up by one. Back the other way now. Goudreau going to get leveled along the boards. Kachuk takes exception to that. And he would end up winning the Tilly for his teammate there as well. Attaboy Chucky. Vancouver on the attack again. Dry sidle to Bergeron. He's going to beat Igor Shesterkin over the glove to give Vancouver a 2 to nothing lead heading in to period number two. A couple great saves there from Robin Leonard to end the period as well to ensure that his team does head into two, up by two. Now in the second period, Nico going to make a deke there. The puck is sort of shuffled in the slot. Taylor Hall lets go a weak shot, and that will find its way to the back. The Finns on the attack. A nice pass from Ovi to Panarin. He is going to send it home and cut the lead down to two. Back on the attack here, a great save from Robin Leonard. Ovechkin, though, picks it up in the corner and walks out. That will cut the lead down to one. And we have five goals total halfway through this game. Another big hit. Another scrap. And this time, the Lumberjacks player would come out on top. Kachuk takes a shot off the post and in. Gives his team a tie game heading into the third. Trips over the goalie's pad. Doesn't care. Gets right back up and continues sellying. In the third here, five minutes in, the Finns on the attack. Provrov and Kachuk with a great give-and-go play. That will beat Leonard and give the Finns a 4-3 lead early on in the third. Late now, game coming to an end. The Finns back on the attack 
Walking out is a great goal from Dmitry Orlov. Far side, he's going to bury it. But it is not over yet. The Lumberjacks back the other way. A shot on net. McDavid there for the rebound. He will put it home to make it 5-4. to four. But unfortunately, they couldn't get another one. The Finns squeak out a victory in a nine-goal game there. Here are your three stars. We got Backstrom, Kachuk, and Ovechkin. So the Finns cleaning up in the three stars department. It's time for the 0-5 Tomahawks to take on the 4-1 Detroit Dragons here. And let's see how they fare. Early on, the Tomahawks get on the attack here. Petrie over to Pedersen. He's going to take a nice shot, but Vasilevsky, who has been an all-star in this tournament, saves that one. But he cannot save this one. Pavelski on the back doorstep. Going to beat Vasilevsky early on in the first period to give the Tomahawks a lead. Now they're back on the attack here. A nice wrist shot. Vasilevsky backed up too far. Pavelski getting his second of the game less than two minutes into it. Gets another chance there. But Vasilevsky will keep that one out. Toronto still on the attack here. Radulov walking out. A very good effort there. But Vasilevsky will get just enough to stop that one. And another great save by Vazzy there. The Dragons back the other way now. A battle in front of the net. But they cannot get it to the back. McDonough passes in the middle to Nylander who's going to rip it home and make this game a 2-1 to -one lead for the Toronto Tomahawks heading in to the second period. In the second period, Patrick Kane walking out. A nice pass and that will find its way off the post. And that is it for the second period. Very uneventful but still a 2-1 to -one lead for the Tomahawks heading in to 3. The Dragons on the attack here. Patrick Kane rips one, but Carey Price will save that one. Debrinkat in on the attack as well. Another great save by Carey Price. Tomahawks headed back the other way. Seven minutes remaining in the game. A pass in front. The rebound comes out to Tyler Sagan, who's going to bury it and give the Tomahawks a 3-1 lead here in the third period. And things are looking good for them. Great save by Vasilevsky, but that's going to do it. The Tomahawks get their first win of the tournament, and it comes at the hands of the Detroit Dragons. Sometimes it do be like that. Great performance from Carey Price as well, with 19 saves on the night. We've got the Whales. We've got the Tigers. Right now, the Whales currently sitting at 3-2, where the Newfoundland Tigers are sitting at 1-4. Kyle Connor going to do a toe drag, a nice wrist shot, but Bobrovsky will catch that one. Newfoundland in on the attack here, but a great save by Connor Hellebuck. Newfoundland coming back in, a big hit along the boards there. The player would be all right. Kessel walks in, a nice wrist shot from the point. That will be kicked aside as well, and that's going to do it for the first period. We are scoreless heading into two. A great save on the blocker from Bobrovsky there to keep it all square. The Whales on the power play. Shifley with a nice deke gets another shot, but Bobrovsky will stop that one as well. A pass in front to Kyle Connor. That won't find its way to the back of the net. And we are heading into the third period. Still scoreless here. A true goalie's contest. A big save by Hellebuck early on here. The rebound comes to Slavin though. He walks in. And another big save. Now 17 minutes left in the period here. A big save by Hellebuck yet again. These goalies are playing phenomenal and really stealing the show here. Larkin just misses the net on a great opportunity there to give his team the lead. Now it's Hiberdo. A toe drag in. Let's a wrist shot fly picks the corner. That puts the Tigers up by one with under eight to go in the third period here. Hellebuck channeling his inner Tino Manny releasing a risky pass, but it did not end up going in. And in the dying minutes here, a great chance, and they can't get it to go. The Tigers back the other way. They will hit the empty netter. Logan Krause going to bury it, and that will end the game with a 2-0 victory for the Newfoundland Tigers. Here are your three stars. Both goalies played absolutely phenomenal in this one, as you can see, and they are rightfully in their three stars place. With the updated standings, the Royals are at the top with a very impressive record standing at 5-1. And, and we've got the Tomahawks at the bottom there, 1-5. But they did get their first win this week, and it was a massive upset victory 
over the Detroit Dragons, who are currently in second place. There's only one more week before the playoff and final round of this tournament slash league. I am this far and I still don't know what to call it. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.